Trump is speaking from Miami tonight, and he's always played to the far right in Miami, those who express hate for Cuba, for Venezuela. And so his cho choice to hold this town hall precisely in Miami, uh, what's your take on that? Uh, they are very worried of, of Florida, Florida swing states, to uh, 29 electoral votes. It's, it's a very important prize for, for Donald Trump of the Republicans. That's why he has chosen uh, uh, Florida. Well, look, uh, the, the Hispanics in Miami are around, uh, uh, in, in Florida in general, around 17% of the vote. Uh, and uh, the Miami date where this uh, town hall is have its place in uh, its general tends to be democratic in favor of Democrats uh, because there are other Hispanics there who tend to vote uh, Democrat. Among the Cuban Americans, though, uh, he is uh, getting uh, with the time more more votes, and according to the to the polls, he is uh, heading Joe Biden. He's getting around 60 percent <coughs> in favor of, of him among the Cuban Americans. Very sad of the Cuban Americans, I should say, because they are supporting a guy who is restricting the links between the Cubans in the states with, uh, at least in, 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 in that country, in, in Florida, and in general in the U.S. with the Cubans here. He's strangling their own countries, blockading uh, Cuba, and uh, so it's, it's very sad, but it's part of the Cuban American mafia. In, in Miami, and not only mafia, there are a lot of Cubans who are under pressure from the mass media in, uh, in the enclave uh, who is uh, having some of them, and, and I would say the majority of them, voting for Donald Trump. That, that's very sad. That's very sad to be Trumpist in, in these years. Um, Biden has said that he would resume the path adopted by Barack Obama regarding the relations with Cuba. What, if any, difference do you think we can expect from the two, Trump and Biden, regarding their foreign policy in Latin America and the Caribbean? Same goals. The same goals is to get rid of the Cuban example of the Cuban Revolution to try to overthrow the Cuban government. The differences, and, and I think it's very important to have those differences. Because Donald Trump is doing the, in a very drastic way, um, uh, in establishing and uh, making much more stronger the blockade, uh, approving the implementation of the Hans Burton Law uh, against uh, Cuba during COVID. He's is oppressing much more the tools and the sanctions against Cuba. Uh, Joe Biden is much more smart. He's saying that that, that policy is not work. Uh, the same that Obama had said uh, during his second term in the presidency, which is true. So for their for their objectives, which is at the end, uh, as I was telling you, to overthrow uh, the Cuban uh, the Cuban system, uh, Joe Biden is saying that uh, he's uh, establishing more civilized wave of of having relations with Cuba, but he is pressing. Uh, he said he's going to press Cuba to fulfill certain commitments that Cubans did uh, during Obama years. Uh, I guess that it's trying to, is going to, to press much more Cubans in the human rights issues, uh, in, the, in the sense of using subversion uh, uh, inside Cuba, the two-track policy. But uh, to tell you the truth, uh, everything, anything is better than, than Donald Trump with respect to Cuba. Not talk about Venezuela. Uh, Obama administration, Democrats, have said in, two, in 2015 that Venezuela was a major national security threat to the U.S., which is crazy if you compare the, the size of Venezuela and, and the U.S. Uh, but Donald Trump has, uh, and Obama, and uh, sorry, Donald Trump, Pompeo, uh, Elliot Abrams, those uh, very, uh, very uh, hawkish uh, advisors, uh, John Bolton at the time, uh, are putting their relations with Venezuela to the brink of the war. They have put in all the maximum pressure against uh, Venezuela. Uh, I, I don't think that Joe Biden. Uh, is going to be softer uh, on Venezuela. He is criticizing Trump, saying that it has not been uh, efficient the way he has been uh, conducting the Venezuelan policy. So, summarizing, I would say that it's much more 
difference between Biden and Trump in the Cuban case that in the in the Venezuela.